Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess back to do your bonus read for today. Um, which is Tuesday the 9th of October. I'm going to let the cards lead me as I do. I'll title the video accordingly. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm very humbled to have you here with me and know that you're listening to this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, that's cool. Um, if my readings aren't resonating with you, I won't take it personally. You can find someone who does. Um, cards I'm using today are Ellen Dugan's um, Witch's Tarot. The other thing I'd like to talk about, um, and a couple of people have asked me about donating, I really would like to get a better camera, and I do have a GoPro um, that's particularly hard to use, and I need to work out how to how to better establish it, I think, and get some lighting. So if you feel like you want to donate to my channel, by all means, um, donate. That would be wonderful. If you would like a personal reading, again, just contact me in the box below. You can do that via my website or, um, or by my Facebook page. So um, there's lots of reviews on there if you're concerned about whether... Um, my readings are good or legitimate, but I guess you have it firsthand, right? So if you've been watching me and things are resonating, you know that they're, I'm on track. Um, I've been reading tarot cards really for myself since I can't even remember. I remember going for tarot readings when I was probably about 16, 17 years old myself. Um, I saw ghosts when I was young. Um, particularly a very very sensitive child I got bullied a lot I've been bullied probably a lot of my life so it's been a very um, enlightening journey for me to understand the reason for sensitivity but I do now once I embraced it some years ago and started reading for other people I understood what my journey was all about so if anybody ever wants to um, to have a video done on that, I'd be more than happy to talk about my experiences. Um, but for today, let's do a bonus reading. I do love that you people love my voice. I find that fascinating. So many people have written and said my voice is really calming and, you know, I probably have that little bit of a motherly thing going on. Um, I listen to my voice and I sound, to me, I sound like a squeaky wheel. I don't like my own voice at all. And I remember years ago, somebody putting on a tape and taping us when we were all sitting talking and I was horrified how I sounded on tape. So thank you, because you've really changed the view about myself. <laughs> so blessings to you. Um, okay, so we have this as your general energy today. And this is a card of stability, happiness, joy, happy relationships. It's a beautiful card and shows people, I always think they look like they're um, maypole dancing. So the happiness and joy in this card is really beautiful. Um, but it's about having stability with someone, being in love, having a happy home. It's all of those wonderful things that we all strive for. Okay, and then comes the Ten of Swords. It's sort of like sometimes, what are you doing, spirit? Okay, so uh, some of you are reaching the end of a cycle. I feel that you've perhaps been through some sort of betrayal or heartbreak. Um, this card is very explicit and it shows this, um, you know, having a lot of swords in your back. I'm sure we've all felt this way at some stage or another. Um, I look at these cards all the time and sometimes I see things I've not known before. And I think, I wonder what the owl represents here. And I think it's what it's trying to say, especially with this very old wise tree as well, that... There's a certain amount of wisdom that you've gained through this experience. Um, and even though it looks pretty awful, and you certainly haven't died from this, you are certainly ready to come back into a new cycle. But with it, you bring all these experiences and wisdom from the owl and the tree. So definitely finishing a cycle and the Knight of Pentacles has come out. He came out in the day reading as well. So there's definitely lots of offers coming in today for you. Whether they be offers of work, you know, with the Pentacle here, 
um, or offers of love, they are slow and you've been waiting a while for this to happen. Um, not real sure what the connection is here yet, but let's see how we go. Can be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo you're dealing with. And this card came out in the day read as well. Very interesting. I shuffle the cards ridiculously. And I know that sometimes I've even changed the pack because of the repeating cards. But to be honest with you, the same cards just come out in a new pack. So you can't trick the universe. You can't. So this talks about... Okay, what I'm feeling here is you've had some sort of breakdown and betrayal by someone. And I feel that you were you didn't get the stability from this experience that you expected to have. Now, when I see the Knight of Swords here, the Knight of Pentacles, sorry, and it seems quite right when I say sword too, because this Knight of Pentacles looks like he's coming in with a tentative apology. And now I see this here and I see conflict. I'm thinking you've had a breakdown with someone, someone you thought that you were going to have a long-term relationship with. In fact, you were very sure in the Four of Wands we saw at the beginning. Something has happened here that's brought you round to realising something. And this Knight of Pentacles is now coming back to offer you an apology. And there may be some conflict with this apology because I feel like they've done the wrong thing by you. That's what it looks like. Yep, there we go. Because this offer that's coming back in, you're not sure you want to take the damn thing. Look at you. Someone's done the wrong thing by you and now they're coming in to put it right. And they want to say they're sorry and they want to offer you a cup of love. But now look at you. You're still in this Ten of Swords energy here. You haven't moved on to the four of, four of Wands. You do not want what they're offering at this point in time. Okay. So, with the Star card here, I would say to you that this is what you want. And although this person has done the wrong thing here, you actually... Uh, I don't want to say it because if some of you are fresh from out of something bad, this looks to me like it was meant to happen this way. Someone's done some sort of betrayal to you, hurt you deeply, but you're meant to be together. So I don't want to say that for people who've come out of, you know, narcissistic relationships or... The other thing this can mean is that you are now on your right path because you've discovered hope in what's it ahead of you. Hope, faith. And maybe that's why you're refusing this cup because you know that there's something more ahead of you. And it's funny because I said the Knight of Swords and here he is. This is definitely an apology from someone who's done the wrong thing by you. But you know what, people? If someone's done something really, really bad for you, I think the hope card means that you're just on the right track. If they come in to offer you something else and you have conflict from this, whether it's um, something you want or something you want to say goodbye, I think that Spirit is saying here, what you choose to do, what you choose your path, Whichever direction you choose to go in is the right one for you. Um, because this person really does want to say sorry, you still need to accept the apology here. Don't hang on to it. Don't hang on to this energy. You need to let it go because you're being led somewhere else, okay? Whether that's with this person or whether this is moving into an entirely new phase in your life. And I think with the star, we know that it represents wishes and hope and trust and faith. And it's everything where you're traveling in the right direction. Do not hold on to it. Try to let it go. Don't build this around your heart here. Because you need to have your heart open for the next person who comes in. Yep, definitely forward movement. Okay, for a lot of you, you're moving away from this energy. Um, and for some of you, it's right. So it could be either way. But in this card, we see you moving forward in the chariot. So you're definitely on forward movement here. You know that this is ahead of you. You're on the, you're on the right track. You've just got to be careful you don't do this. 
So this is a bit of karma, isn't it? And a love reading. So maybe I should have done a karma love reading this morning. Because for some of you, you're moving on from something that has really broken your heart. So you're moving forward anyway. That's the main thing. Yeah, look at you go. Look at you go. You're the empress. You have realised your destiny. You are ready to birth something new. You're understanding this energy. You're feeling that energy. So you're really ready to move ahead here. So by all means, accept the apology or don't accept the apology. That's up to you. Whichever way you go, you've become this beautiful person from this experience. And now you go in to this thing here. So the Eight of Pentacles talks about working hard on something. Now, I feel like this isn't about work here. So I'm thinking this is about working on yourself. It's about allowing yourself the growth now. So maybe you you want to stay single for a while. Maybe you want to do the single thing because you realize that there's still more work to be done. It could be that you're immersing yourself in studies. Maybe you've been in a relationship where you haven't looked after yourself or you haven't recognized the need to work on yourself. And now you're choosing to do that. So there's a number of ways this reading can go, really. There's spirits chucking all sorts of things at me here. So I feel like somebody's really done something pretty tough, though. You need to accept their apology before moving forward. Otherwise, you'll hang on to everything. It's part of the healing you need to do here in this star. But you don't want them back. Most of you don't want them back. For those people who decide to take this person back and give it another go, that's okay too. doesn't matter which way around this is for you. You have to make your own judgment. Because what Spirit's saying here is that, you know, the, the star talks about you having hope and trust in moving forward as well. So whichever way this is, it's right for you. Okay, oh, two cards come out this morning. So we have Aurora, and it says, You're flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. And we definitely feel this here in this Empress card because that's the good work you've done on yourself. And the other card that came out was Oceana, and it says, Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. You need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself, which is a perfect card, really, because whether you want to move forward or whether you don't, whether you forgive or whether you don't, whether you let go or whether you don't, it doesn't matter. You're standing in your truth here. And you know I'm a fan of standing in your truth. Don't ever, ever, ever accept less than your worth. Because this is who you are. Thanks everyone.